Welcome to the Nice Guy Podcast. Uh, this is the first episode ever that I've created today. I'm your host, Robin, and I'm just here to first, first of all, introduce myself and say that I am thankful for you watching this this podcast or listening this to this podcast or you might be watching it because i have a little bit of gameplay on the background and um today i am just uh have i just have a little bit of tarkov gameplay and i think um this would be a good a good podcast to just listen to and or enjoy um uh as an introduction i want to say that i am uh I'm a 16 year old podcaster I've always loved having a podcast or listening to it it's always been something that I liked or um, just say enjoyed because they're so relaxing and you can just listen to it when you're free or when you're just like chilling at home you know and I've always done it I've tried to do it, but I've ever I've never had the time to do it myself. But now I am, and um, I want to say just just that um, I'm only I'm not doing this for the money or for anything at all. I'm just doing this for just just for the fun of it. You know, I want to entertain people, make people laugh, or make people comfort comforted for whatever the whatever they're doing and um i just want to say that a lot of people these days are just really negative and i wanted to change that right now but i don't know how to start it because i have to build an audience of people that will actually enjoy my stuff and be like man that guy is really good and he's pretty funny and recommend to like a lot of people that they know uh today I'll just I'll just talk about whatever I have in mind. I'll pretty much talk about whatever I have in my mind later when I have a bigger audience or when I get more monetization or whatever comes first. I'll start um, having guests here because I would love to talk to other people and I'll just be by myself mainly, uh, just myself. Uh, my editor will be in the background sometimes, but uh, probably not. He doesn't like talking in a podcast, but he would he would pretty much help out with my audio and um, um, editing. Mostly, mostly editing, and I I would love to get more people into the podcast, but I don't have the the equipment or the money for it but i would certainly love to get more people into this thing um mostly i'll just i'll just post probably uh every single week i don't know when but i'll try to post once a week uh mainly just like 30 minutes just a 30 quick 30 minutes that doesn't matter but i got i can do 30 minutes once i get more audience i'll i'll bump it up i'll bump up the time and i'll just talk about whatever i I want or whatever i can talk about without getting the internet uh mad at me you know so yeah that's my little introduction and i i just don't know what what talk about man i just i just think about a lot of stuff and my friends think that I'm, I'm funny sometimes or only when I want to and I think I'm funny but I just don't have the sense of humor as a lot of people do and I I'm just a gamer dude uh, I'm just a gamer and I think that I would just uh, make a lot of poop jokes here and there people will laugh and then um, but I'm, I'm a really good friend. I'm just really quiet when it comes to talking in public or even into the internet. Because texting can be one thing. And then actually speaking in a podcast, that's another thing. you know. And it would be a good thing to feel like it would, it would do something 
for myself be more comfortable at doing something else and i'll probably just make something for myself build up a career probably not drop out of school because i would not love to drop out of school and then just fall off with the whole podcast thing and just feel like oh man i wasted a lot of time and and a lot of my energy on a podcast that failed in the middle of college or something and i'm gonna be like well i dropped out of college i hope not i i hope i don't drop out of college i want to at least finish my college and then i'll probably do more more often this this whole podcast thing um probably stream i'm still young i can still stream um i'm old enough to to stream for myself i have a setup already i have a microphone as you can tell by the whole thing i have gameplay playing right now probably gonna die in a, in a second but i'll be fine uh but um yeah I, I i'm not planning to drop out i don't get what's the problem with the whole dropout thing i, I think it's really dumb but like yeah i you get a lot of you got a lot of money, you have a lot of influence off of people, but I think that it's dumb that you have to drop out for your YouTube. I don't think so, man. I, I would enjoy making a whole career just to drop out, and then your parents apparently um, support you because you have a lot of money. Because a lot of esports or a lot of youtubers that became famous just drop out and i'm like dude why did you drop out it's so dumb and i hear like a lot of parents say that that their kid is like they play fortnite and they're like so good at the game and then later on they'll they'll try to do the competitions and i've known so many people that that would say that oh my god i'm good at this game i'll go pro i'll get a lot of money out of it and i'll drop out of school it doesn't work like that dude it it has a lot of it has to do a lot about age and responsibility out of the whole money because money is not everything money is something that controls us and or just manipulates manipulates us oh my god i can't speak english um but yeah i i cannot i can't agree with dropping out at the age of what 18 ish yeah right not even going to college dude there's a lot of kids that that work hard and then they find this new profession off of like video games or or even doing um like tutorials or something they do such a simple thing. They get a lot of money out of it. They get a contract. They get a whole signing for uh, like a team, like a like a esports, like a for example, like a um, hundred thieves phase. Uh, there's so many of them, and there's so many that, that I can't even count that has existed in such a long time. And I think that there's there's some pattern of contracts and just fame itself. And I feel like it would it would be cool for me to join a team. I don't have a specific one, but I would love to join a hundred thieves because they they're such a cool team to work with. Because there's a lot of chill people there. And I don't really like FaZe, because FaZe is such a, like, they're just a bunch of um, sellout YouTubers that just um, make money easily. And they just, like, they make one video already, like, a million views the first minute, or first, like, 30 minutes. It's so crazy, though. There's so many influencers, um, YouTubers, and there's so many things that a person can be and like tiktok nowadays like everyone gets famous off of making one video like you can you can just make a dumb video and you're already verified on tiktok because you made this dumb video of yourself doing a certain thing and then 
it's so crazy that you just get famous out of that and i feel like i wouldn't get famous first minute i think i would take time to just um find a type of profession that would work for me and i think that i would actually do well with it but uh, who knows i i don't really know but it's just that a lot of things just mostly content creators copy each other or there's always that one copycat that just, um, how do you say it, just spoils the fun. But I would say, like, there was, there was, uh, I think it was a couple, I think it was, like, a couple years ago, not so many years ago, there was that, there was those, um, uh, Mr. Beast copycats. It was really funny because they were so dumb and pathetic of how they could make this whole challenge that Mr. Beast made. And Mr. Beast, he's a good YouTuber. Don't get me wrong with that. He's a good YouTuber. He gives a lot to the community and he's really supportive on whatever he, he wants. But, now that now that he's been like trying to do the whole uh save the planet which is cool by the way that's really impressive of how his brand of making uh challenge videos with his friends became a whole business and the dude made a a, a restaurant well it's a fast food place but i've never ta- i have never eaten that place but uh, I, I bet it's good. And he's made so many collabs with so many um, really good YouTubers. And now that he's doing uh, the... What is he doing right now? I think he's doing the... um What's it called? Like the ocean thing? So he's like collecting trash from the ocean. And I think that's pretty cool that he's doing that. And um, but I I mostly like the first one, the Team Trees, cause that one was so, that one was really good, and that really hit the spot of trying to save the environment and like all of the fires coming through with California. And there was one for Australia. That was that was horrifying, man. I re- I really didn't enjoy the the views or the the images of that. And like, there's a lot of things that would that would controverse on saying that that oh, global warming isn't real, or it's it's just something that the government is trying to say. I I think that I, I believe in I believe in the whole um, the global warming thing, cause yeah, it's it's a little it's a little warm outside. Yeah, it feels hotter than normal. I would think that it would be a lot of pollution coming through to our only thing. But everyone has their own opinion. I have my own opinion. You can't prove me wrong. You could prove me wrong, but you can't prove that uh, my own decision is wrong. Because probably none of us are wrong. Probably both none of us are in the same team, and we're all separated for one reason. And we would say that in Twitter that something someone is wrong. He's he's um he's just a bad person, you know. If someone's wrong, he's a bad person, and I think that's dumb. With the whole thing of saying uh, this guy did a wrong thing, uh, we should just cancel him. I don't I don't like cancel culture. I, I think it's really dumb. I I don't I don't I don't know why so many kids have so much time on their hands just to just to just to fight against a a guy that did something a few years ago i don't get how that works i think i think it's not right i i think that it's mostly the parents giving their children so much time that that they don't really need and i would probably say that it's not it's not right i would it's a lot of a lot of people have been canceled a lot of people came back from the cancel from the cancel break or i don't know what to call it but i would say the cancel break um but yeah i would i wouldn't i don't like cancel culture i don't don't have twitter myself i don't like twitter i think it's a really negative place um but there's a lot of good memes there but i don't i don't have a twitter account but i would make one 
but I'm not really. I don't care if you're gonna pay me a thousand dollars or or even ten k to make a, a Twitter account. I'm not accepting that money, cause I don't want to. Cause I don't. I don't feel. I feel like if I make a Twitter account and I have an influence, someone's gonna already attack me for doing. Uh, I don't know, going to the grocery store and getting almond milk and saying that I'm just not vegan or, or I don't know man I'm just inventing stuff but I think that this whole generation of people or what they call so-called Gen Z um that they're just saying that everyone's strong and if if you're wrong if you're wrong you are a bad part uh, you're a bad person but I just hate that a lot of people have so much um, time in their hands all the time. But I, I usually just ignore the cancel culture. I'm not really scared of it. I, I'm very protected of my own stuff. I have all of my things protected by a VPN. Not sponsored. Uh, not yet. But, um, uh, but I, I'm pretty much safe. Uh, people would say that, oh, uh, I hacked this guy. No, you didn't, dude. You just, you're just falsificating your own crime. And I hate that someone, someone just falsificates uh, a certain person for doing a certain thing, and then they get that guy arrested. And even though that guy was innocent, they still get him arrested. They take away his money, his family. It's really sad though. There's so many. There's so many people that do something, as as a as a so-called joke, for views. It's really dumb. I think I think it's not right. I I don't I don't really like this whole cancel culture thing. I just don't accept it. But anyways, I would also say that that this whole I would want to create a, a whole community that is very positive. And very likable at the same time. And a little bit of funny people though. Because there's a lot of funny people in the chat. Or like in uh, streams that I see. And there's those funny people that just um, that just say something. And they'll make me laugh. And uh, I, have cer- I have a certain like um, comedy that would make you believe that I'm a messed up person. Or just think that I'm just crazy. But a lot, a lot of people would say that I'm crazy, but I'm not really crazy. I'm just a normal kid, or should I say teen, because I'm pretty much just old enough to stream for myself, by myself, and probably get a job as well. But I think that I would be perfect as a, as a, as a podcaster or even uh, a YouTuber, but I don't believe in the whole YouTube thing. I I think uh, the whole streaming thing would would be just fine by me, and I would love to work with Spotify as a as a start or as something to rely on because a lot of podcasts that are popular have been working with Spotify for a good while, and I think that I would try to make that point to myself and reach that goal and believe that I would actually like that job. I would consider this whole podcasting thing a, a job, but I don't think that I would make it as a really enjoyable one. But I would love to have this as part-time or full-time streamer thing and a part-time podcaster and i would love to hang out with other youtubers that um that i love and or enjoy to hang out with like there's so many people that are out there that are that are just enjoyable and i would love to travel the world and i would pretty much save up the money to travel but first of all, but first things first, college important. College is very really important for me. Uh, my parents want me to go to college. I would love to go to college as well. I'm not those type of people that would just drop out. And um, but I don't. I'm not like that. I don't want to drop out. I'm not like that. But um, once I finish my my education, I would be free. My parents would be like, okay, now you can do whatever you want. 
and then I'll be like, okay, well, I'll just go to I'll just go to podcasting then, and I'll just make a career off of that, or just keep going, just keep having that career for myself. But um, yeah, I would really love that. And there's so many goals. Everyone has their own goal. I have my own. I would enjoy my own, and I would think that I would do great in it. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to get this whole a uh, podcast thing up and going every single week. Uh, I bet an episode every single week. Maybe like every Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe in the weekend, just to like as a as a weekend thing. Like people will be like, "Oh wow, there's a there's a nice guy podcast up up in the Saturday." And um, and they're gonna be like, okay, well, we'll just listen to it, and then in the car ride, or even in um, uh, I don't know, I'm giving an example as like um, just doing washing the dishes, cleaning their own room, but my audience, oh, I, I don't care what my audience is, I don't care if it's all girls, I don't care if it's all boys, I don't care if there's adults in them, but I don't want those adults to accuse me for. Or hate me as as an influencer or as a podcaster that is just young enough to do it. And yeah, I have my own permission to do it. And I made the decision to make the podcast. And I I think I'll like this. I'll like this whole I'll like this whole job thing. And I think that I would do great in it. But yeah, man, a lot of people are really negative, and I I don't really like that. It's really, it's really bad. It's like if I don't like you, I will not talk to you. If um, if I like you, I'll probably talk to you, but then I'll separate myself from you for a little while, and I'll think that oh well, uh, I'll just say that I I don't really I don't really like people, but I could say I don't like people, and I and or I can also say that I don't like I don't like everyone, but. I like people sometimes, and my friends are pretty funny. Um, we have this whole thing that we have going on, like with the whole group chat thing, and we just mess with each other. We go places, and I hope we can just uh, stay for a while together. But everyone has their own um, path to go, because some of them want to drop out and do a certain thing. Um, like, so, like one of my friends, he wants to be a barber, but he wants to drop out. But he doesn't really care about, um, school. But I really support the idea of him trying to be a barber, and uh, he offered me a, a haircut, but I'm not ready for him yet. I I think that I would give him some time to practice on people, and I'll give him a chance someday. But um, there's so many people out there that have this one goal and think, man, I would actually love to do this. And they and they end up getting the job and or end up getting the career that they would love to do as full time. And there's so many people that have so many goals. And at the same time, we're all the same that we all want to do a certain thing in life. And we have this one goal in life to to make a difference and try to um influence other people to do this but not follow their path because a lot of people are different everyone has a rough past like their parents divorcing or they're just poor or they there's so many things i have my own past i I don't want to get into it too much but i have my own past i have I'm, I have no girlfriend, I don't have, I just have, I just have my friends, I always had my friends right next to me, and they're really supportive of one each other, one of an, one another, and I really enjoy that they're with me at all times, and we'll have some, we'll have some gaming sessions that are funny, we'll all laugh, and I'm trying to buy a, a mixer, and I, I want to get that mixer so I can get a better quality for the podcast, for you, the viewers, and I 
I, I want to have some funny some funny times. Like I want to I have so many ideas for this whole podcast that uh I would love to to do. But that's more in the future once I get viewers, once I get money, I'll probably get a job first and then pay off pay off the equipment that I want to get and then um get storage as well cuz jeez, uh a lot of a lot of things that I have to do or worry about is pretty much my audio and my storage, cause um, it'll pretty much take up a lot of space on my hard drive or my SSD on my computer to like record a podcast, and it just stays there until I I give it to my editor, and I'll just be like, huh, I'll just I'll post this later. And this this is my first time uh, recording this first try. I I think I think I did pretty good. I don't know. I'll just ask my viewers or my editor after this, and uh, see if I can uh, improve in this. Uh, get a new mic microphone, um, and I pretty much pursue my only dream of trying to join a team or make a whole career for myself, but also going to college. Or paying off my college with that money, and then uh, completing college, and then coming back to the podcasting, and um, I think I think this whole podcasting would would be pretty fun. I want to make it fun for the viewers um, and for myself, and uh, I hope to have more guests or only have myself in it. Uh, I would love to have guests in my in my podcast. I'll vary on a lot of YouTubers or um, just certain people. I would uh, I would love to open up to towards those possibilities of getting a YouTuber that I like because I like a lot of YouTubers and I would love to talk to them or even musicians because those guys are, are really inspiring into the whole community and they created this whole... Um, influence towards their music, this, their music. Sorry, and I would love to talk to them and ask them what inspired them to do this, and why did this, why did they decide to make this, this whole career, and make them make them have to say that I did this because I wanted to do it for my family or for their friends. Or for even just themselves, because there, there's people that are like that, and I think that I would love to talk to them. But I think, yeah, that that mostly wraps it up for this oh, this first ever episode. I'll try to post every single weekend. Uh, it depends, but there's there's gonna be those times that I'll have um, school breaks, and I'll just record one, uh, edit it, and then just put it in the weekend, post it on the weekend. And then, boom, that's all. That's all I have to do. Um, but I think this would be a really good um, podcast to enjoy, listen to. And pretty much, I want to get some laughs out of this. I want to enjoy myself. And uh, I think I would do pretty good on it. But uh, thank you for watching or listening to this podcast. This has been the Nice Guy Podcast. And I'll see you guys later.